Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing a very personal story about my journey after my baby was discharged from the hospital. It was a challenging time, but also a period of growth and learning. I'll talk about the emotion, the support we received and the step we took to adjust to life at home. Bringing Zion home was a day full of joy, but also with overwhelming fear. I had spent months preparing for this, yet nothing could truly prepare me for the reality of caring for such a tiny, fragile baby on my own. Our NICU experience is woven into our story, not as a source of pain, but as a reminder of how far we've come. On the first day after being discharged, I had a panic attack. I remember it so vividly. I was terrified of making a mistake. I meticulously parked my car in the passport, grateful to have been admitted for a five-day room-in hospital stay, which allowed me to learn how to adjust, consult with lactation expert, and prepare for life with him. It felt like a hands-on test for our new mother. We learned how to care for our fragile baby, what to monitor, and what to keep an eye on. It was terrifying because I had to rely solely on myself. I didn't ask for help from any family members. Every minute I was checking on his breathing, watching the rise and fall of his, of his chest and observing the colour of his skin. Every breath felt like a victory. Somehow I managed. Bringing Zayan home from the hospital went smoothly. Once home, my sister was there, thank God to help me with his first bath, her steady hands guiding me through the nerves. When I look back on those early days, I marvel at how we got through them. Truly, God helped ease the way. Like most new mothers, I stay up late, monitoring his breathing, staying vigilant against choking hazard and mastering neonatal CPR. It was exhausting, but I managed. Those days are memories now. We thrive, the challenge were temporary. As the day passed, I started to gain confidence, finding relief and calm. Despite my best effort, my milk supply was low. I knew how crucial breast milk for Zion to mitigate the risk associated with his extreme prematurity. In my desperation, my sister, who was planning to stop breastfeeding, her two-year-old, suggested breast milk donation. I felt both grateful and burdened by the situation. The breastfeeding journey was emotionally draining. Between supplement and endless pumping session, I found myself grappling with postpartum stress which only worsened my breastfeeding struggle. I had to grant myself grace as I was also recovering from an illness. After six months of, of confinement, I returned to work. The balance was difficult, but I discovered a newfound strength within me. By the time Zion was seven months, he was on formula. Although I had given everything on breastfeeding, my heart was heavy with disappointment. Yet despite the challenges, Zion flourished. His cheek became plump, his eyes sparkled with life, and every milestone he reached became a testament to his resilience and strength. I found hope in every tiny victory, knowing that together we were defying the odd. I vividly remember winning him at seven months, starting with mashed fruits and vegetables. His tiny hands eagerly reached for the spoon, filled with curiosity at the new flavour he was discovering. Today, I reflect on Zion's bright, unique and resilient spirit. He has always been extraordinary, not just because of how he entered the world, but because of the way he continued to thrive despite every challenge. When I look at Zion's now, my heart overflows with gratitude. He is thriving, growing and filling our life with joy. Though he began his journey as a tiny premature baby, he is my warrior. Every day I witness his strength, his determination, and his gentle, beautiful soul. As I reflect on Zion's early years, my heart swelled with thankfulness and hope. Those first two years were filled with pure joy, watching him grow healthy and full of life. I cherish every moment from his first tentative crawl to the wobbly step that marked his journey towards walking. Each milestone, every bubbles, and every stumble are etched in my memory serving as a reminder of his resilience and innocence. I thank God every day for Zion's for the lesson he teaches me and for the incredible blessing of being his mother.
This journey hasn't been easy, but it has been more rewarding than I ever imagined. I hope my experience resonates with some of you and offer comfort if you are going through something similar. Make sure to stay tuned and if you find this helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the not notification bell. See you next time. Bye.